Hello to all friends of Instrumental Trance Communication. In today's video, I would like to introduce you, to an electronic, listening amplifier from ELV, that I have rebuilt. In the original kit, this case was included, and I did not like it at all. This was among other things the reason, why I put it in a different case and also made some changes. I ordered the housing from AliExpress, among other things I also built an electric microphone into the housing. So it is not always necessary to connect an external microphone to the socket. I sprayed the front panel with black paint, and then labeled it with my laser system the Emblazer 2. In the photos you can see how small and filigree the writing is and how well it is readable. It is very nice to compare the size with a match. From here, on the assembly of the individual control elements, with the front panel of the housing is performed. The battery holder was fixed to the board by soldering. What you should consider when wiring audio elements, for example potentiometers, switches, sockets etc. The incoming cables should always be twisted together to avoid possible noise. Also, the cable lengths should be as short as possible to avoid hum and interference. Depending on the complexity of the project, the structure can sometimes have quite a lot of cables, so it would also be an advantage to fix the cables together with small cable ties. But in this project, I omitted the cable ties because the mess of cables is quite clear. Here are some pictures of the completed hearing amplifier. This hearing amplifier is really very sensitive and amplifies very quiet signals. The switchable noise gate has also been very helpful. With quiet signals, the ambient noise is switched off. The noise gate can also be deactivated and the gain can be switched from low to high. Perfect for our transcommunication experiments. To protect the surfaces on which the amplifier is placed, I added four rubber pads. This also prevents slipping when operating the device. Finally I removed the original battery holder and replaced it with one where you can change the battery without opening the case. The battery holder has a protection class of IP67 and is therefore dust proof and keeps out water for a certain short period of time. I just couldn't find another holder, so I took this one. I know, the battery holder looks a bit clumsy from the outside but it is important to me that the device is easy to handle. small experiment with a connected FM transmitter. The device works very well and I hope you had fun with my short video. See you next time. Bye.